Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by West Street Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. Well, November is National Adoption Month, and to talk more about that locally, we have from Allen County Children's Services, the Executive Director, Sarah Newland. And thanks for joining us today, Sarah. Thanks for having us, Holly. Okay, adoption. I'm sure, it, you know, it's a little bit more complicate, complicated than we would think, but it's necessary, right? We have kids, even in our area, that need adopted, right? Absolutely. So November is National Adoption Month, and uh, we like to get the word out just to remind the community that there's kids here in Allen County that are in search of a forever home. All right. And we mainly think, oh, people will adopt babies, but it's all ages, right? All ages. Uh, the most difficult children um, to find that permanent home are typically teenagers, um, large sibling groups, and children with special needs. So uh, although it's it, a lot of people, when, in, when interested in adoption, think of a young child, we have all ages and all needs available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, all those ages need a, a forever home and some love. I'm sure you've seen some really great stories where, you know, siblings have been adopted together and teenagers get homes. I mean, what kind of reaction do you see and, and how do the kids react? Absolutely. So we believe that every child deserves a family. And when we can find that right family, to take on, you know, kids with, with high needs, um, large sibling groups, that makes such an impact on that child forever. Mm -hmm. Not just as a, at, in their youth, but also as a young adult, we all need that family support. So that's really our goal is to ensure that every child has that ability. Mm -hmm. So do you become a foster parent first and then you adopt or can you just adopt? What does the process look like if you're thinking about it? There are different routes. A lot of our foster parents um, may have those foster children in their home. And if those children become eligible, they can go through um, the adoption process with that child already being placed with them. Um, but for those that are just looking to adopt, um, that we can also just approve a home study for them to ha be that adoptive placement um, if they choose not to foster. Okay, so is there a process you go through? I'm sure there's a screening and things like that. I mean, does it cost money? Because sometimes you hear people pay thousands of dollars to get uh, get a child for adoption. I mean, what, what is the process locally in Allen County? So if you are adopting a child through the child welfare system in Ohio, those fee those adoption fees that can be extremely costly in a, in a private adoption um, are at, at no cost uh, through um, our our agency um, and also there are there could be additional um, financial support if those children have needs that um, that family does need support for. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume lots of caseworkers on these kind of things and stuff I mean your agency just works really hard to keep all kinds of situations for children safe right? Absolutely we actually have here we're fortunate in Allen County to have a 1D's Wonderful Kids Adoption Recruiter um, who is a full-time caseworker just designated to help um, specifically work on a small caseload to identify families for these children. Um, right now in Allen County, we have eight children that are eligible for adoption. Um, so, you know, we, we try to put all our resources into those eight children um, to really locate and find the right the right place for them. Mm -hmm. What is the average time? I mean, do those eight children, I mean, do they have to wait years or do, do we get them out within a year? What is it the average varies, time? But it is typically years that they really? could be waiting on permanency. So just really important that um, we continue to look for those options for them. Uh, we finalized seven adoptions in Allen County so far this year. And in 2023, we anticipate that number probably increasing, doubling um, potentially. So um, we continue to celebrate those, um, sure. those milestones for children and yet also um, not forget the ones that still need the permanent. Right, yeah. So first step for someone, give you guys a call and get the process going? Yes, you can contact our agency, um, ask to speak to someone in the foster care adoption unit. Um, they can discuss what that looks like. Uh, we typically want to go through an interview process. Um, once those um, checks and, and all those requirements are met, we then slowly adapt, you know, want to make sure that that child's comfortable in your home. So there's a, a, a process that we go sure. through to ensure that it's the right fit for your family as well as for the child. All right. There's a big need. Children need a forever home in our area. Thanks Absolutely. for coming today. Thanks, Allie. All right. Don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.